Alrighty, you guys, what's going on? So today, I'm throwing right now just a little cheap spinner bait and very low light conditions today. So I opted to go to a spinner bait. The fish are just not hitting top water. I don't know why. Pretty much perfect conditions <coughs> for top water, but they are just not hitting top water at all. So I decided to go with a spinner bait. Something with a little bit of flash and vibration. I was going to throw a chatterbait, but the chatterbait's acting stupid and won't swim right, so I decided to go with Mr. Spinnerbait. It's a pretty natural color. It's like a natural shad kind of color. I really like it. It's a good color. There's a slight chop on the water. It's not real bad. But there is some wind. It's not super windy, which is good conditions. I, I like throwing spinnerbaits in the wind. Throwing it just like I normally do with no trailer, just a trailer hook. Personally, that's the way I like to throw spinnerbaits. Trailer hook, no trailer. I caught one, my dad's caught two. He caught his on a little bomber square bill and I caught mine on a Strike King sexy dog, it's top water. But that's the only top water bites I've really had. I had two more before that, two more after. Throw a spinner bait right here. If anything's going to hit right there, I'd say it's probably going to hit the first cast. <coughs> There's some submerged grass over here on this side. Throw this spinnerbait over that submerged grass. Fish just moved right here in front of me. I think I hit a carp when I casted as I seen some pretty big ripples moving. Something hit my spinner bait right there by the bank.
right right above right under the surface nothing I just brought very limited tackle I don't have anything really I don't think I have anything that's like slow moving bottom baits mainly because of this storm I kind of figured that they'd be hitting top water pretty decently hey, if I slow roll the spinner bait a little bit slower than I have been Last time I was here, back way back over there, I caught three fish off camera after over an hour of filming. I filmed for over an hour without a single hookup and land. After that whole hour long recording thing, I finally just said, you know what, whatever, I'm just going to fish now. I caught three fish on a bluegill colored spinnerbait that quick. I think it was my third cast after I turned off the camera I caught a fish. Wasn't very big but it was still a fish. Something just busted over there. Didn't hit the surface very hard, whatever it was. I just, I, I got it. I missed him, dang it. That was a fish. That indeed was a fish. That fish just moved right here. And my arm is hurting from reeling the spinnerbait so fast. Ooh, just missed one again. Dang it. There's some thunder. We'll go up here to the, what I call the small fish pond and see if I can get one to hit up here. This pond here is pretty decent when I'm fishing like shaky heads and stuff. The fish right there just moved. I don't know if they're going to hit this big spinnerbait though. It's not really a terribly big spinnerbait, but ducks over there making noise there's some heavy cover right here 
Wish I would have brought my Texas rig rod. Let that sink down a little ways. <coughs> Look for some of those post spawn females. problem with this lake here or this pond right here this one here is it's basically all the same there's no ledge there's only very few actual points and stuff on it there's one over there and one over there a yeah, fish just moved right there up in that corner See, I don't think they're really going to be hitting this big spinnerbait. Got one. Oh, it came off. Go on, get in the water, buddy. There we go. He whacked it. He hit it pretty hard. Evidently, there's one in here that'll hit a spinnerbait. Probably the only one I'm going to catch, too. Thanks for watching.